and welcome back to week three of our preschool program. Uh, today we have covered off on our cues and readiness and getting the kids to cue themselves in with a ready one, two, three and tipping water over their own head. And we've also done our bubbles using all different implements to create that really fun bubble and engagement in the water and getting the kids practicing putting their own faces in the water. Can you blow bubbles? Good girl. So today we are going to practice our back floats. Now, some kids love being on their back in the bath while others may find this a little bit more challenging. The goal here is to get them lying back in that horizontal position with their ears in the water. So we wanna make sure that we're getting them back really gently with their ears in the water. Now, for some kids, this can be quite a hard skill for them to master. So one thing you can do is to support their head. So as you're lowering them back, just make sure that you've got your hand behind them. That just gives them that little bit of comfort as they're starting to lie back in the bath to know there's some security there. The other thing is to keep eye contact with your preschooler. That way they really have that confidence to know you're right there, you're working with them, and you're keeping that um, really close connection with them that they can trust that they're gonna be okay. So when they're getting them to lie on their back, sit them up, and then just gently get them to sit backwards in the water. So to start with, you would have your hand behind the ball of their head there, and then just get them gently lying back in the water with their ears in the water. Once they're comfortable with that and they're happy with their ears back in the water, move your hand away and get them to start to feel the water lift them up on top of the water. So it's a really great experience for them to feel the water start to take their weight. And it's a really great time in the bath to get them to trust the water. The water will always pick the kids up and kids will naturally flow. So we wanna make sure that if they've got their head position right and their ears back in the water, that they start to let the water flow between their legs and their bottom and they start to feel that water movement underneath them. Hey Matilda, can you do a float on your back? Yeah. Yeah? That's it. That is a great float. Is that nice? Yeah. Can you put your head right back like you're having a relax? Oh, that's it. And just relax. Put your arms at your side. Feet out straight and relax. What about if your arms are down next to you? No, thanks. Oh, can you just try for Shona? Put your arms down next to you for Shona. That's it. And have a nice relax. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, put your legs down. Put your legs down. That's it. Good girl. Nice floating. Do you remember the Twinkle Twinkle Float song? Oh, yeah. Should we sing it? Yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little toes. I can't remember it. This is how my floating goes. Keep your legs down. Ears in the water, tummy up high. Like a sailboat, I float by. Twinkle, twinkle, little toes. This is how my floating goes. Hooray, Tilties! You can sit up. Good girl. Good girl. Can you just float? Can you just float? I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to show you how to kick on my back with my ears in the water. see from those videos the children at this age really do enjoy being on their backs and having the freedom of feeling the water move around them uh, on their own so the key to that comfort is to make sure we get our children comfortable with their ears in the water and that is with those gentle movements back and just a little bit of support under their head until they're really comfortable in that position and then you can move your hand away if at any point your child starts to fight against that and wants to sit up it's really important you respect that and you allow them to sit up and then you try that again and go okay Billy we're now going to lie down for two counts and gently lie them back and go one two and then sit them back up again never exceed the limit of what you have actually promised that you will do so if you say you're going to do two seconds it's really important to only do two seconds and sit them back up the key to kid, building kids confidence in the water is for them to have trust in you and in the water so again, make sure as we gently lie them down, 
Give them that opportunity if they need to sit up, sit them back up. Otherwise, if they're comfortable, leave them there and then move your hand away from their head so they can start to feel the water lift their weight. So enjoy the fun this week in the bath with the back floating. I'd love to see some videos of your little super swimmers at home. So send them in to us because we would love to see how clever your kids are in the bath at home. Whoa.